Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I want to share my complete process of shopping for new clothes for my minimalist wardrobe with you. To start off I want to say that sustainability is very important to me and I also want to consume very intentionally so I want to make sure that I only buy things that I'm actually going to wear for years if possible. For today's video I have an example where I'll show you the complete process and it's actually a sad one because it's my favorite linen pants. About two weeks ago I went for a walk and I met a friend like after the walk and she told me that I had a hole in my pants and it's right on one of my butt cheeks <laughs> like it's just a hole and first I thought like oh no how did that happen but after looking more closely, I could definitely see that the fabric is very thin there. So it was just a matter of time. And of course, I'm very sad. These were like perfect pants and I love them so much. And now I have to find another pair. Also, I did quite a few things to these pants. I added the elastic waistband. I replaced the button here. I exchanged the fabric in the pockets because they were not like they had holes and so I exchanged it and so I really hope to be able to wear them for another two years maybe but now they have a hole and I'm really not able to fix it but I'm gonna use the fabric to make something else out of it if everything works how I imagine it I'm gonna like wash the pants now and then cut them apart to see if I can make something else out of them. But now I need a new pair of pants because I only have three pair. I have a jeans, I have my sweatpants and I have these linen pants. And so, yeah, I don't have enough pants, especially I don't have a thin pair that is good for summer. So in my case, it was pretty clear that I needed a new pair of pants because the two that I have are not enough. And whenever I want to add something, I first ask myself, like, do I really need something? Or do I like really, really, really want something? And what is it that I'm looking for? And to figure that out, I use different methods. Like, of course, I take a look at my wardrobe. I see what I get a lot of use out of. Again, if it's an example like this, I knew I wanted to get a similar pair of linen pants because I like those so much that I don't want to miss them from my wardrobe. And I think they are so useful. So I want to have another similar pair. So in my case, it was totally clear. I want to have a pair of linen pants again and not like some other kind of pants or or skirt or something like that to replace it. And to figure out what I want, I really love to use Pinterest boards. And there I just save all the pictures that inspire me when it comes to cuts and colors and just the overall style of clothes that people wear. And looking at my Pinterest board, it for me it's clear what I'm looking for and of course there we have to be careful to make sure that this is actually a style that we can pull off like that maybe the people have a similar body shape um, a similar height or just a similar lifestyle or just we we have to be kind of realistic with our inspiration but on my Pinterest board there are tons of linen pants and other like dress pants kind of um bottoms so i knew that is actually something i like i like i i gravitate towards again and again another method that i really like to use and i've just started using in the past few weeks is actually saving things on instagram like i knew for the longest time that you can just like save posts that you think are interesting that's actually also something that really helps creators because the instagram algorithm likes when people save things um, so that is how you can help your favorite creators um, reach more people if you save their posts. But what I've discovered you can do, and maybe I'm just really late to the party, maybe that's very obvious, but I started um, putting my saved posts into different um, albums or different like collections. It works very similarly to Pinterest there. And so I have a style folder with my saved pictures on Instagram. And there, of course, I see the same thing. I gravitate towards neutral colors, warm colors like orange, terracotta, and things like that. I like certain styles of clothes, and these linen pants are definitely one of them. 
so with these methods I have a clear picture of what I'm looking for, what I like, what I think looks good and that is the foundation of what I'm going to look for if I'm shopping for clothes. That can also give you an idea to set some general rules for myself. I have a color scheme that I follow for my wardrobe and I'm gonna link you the video up here where I talk about my color scheme and I also have certain fits that I like best and I'm gonna link you another video where I talk about style and developing personal style so I already know what kind of cuts and what kind of colors I look for. Another very important rule for my wardrobe is that I only want to have natural materials as far as possible for some things it's not really possible like my bralettes they always um, have some synthetics in them and my bikini for example as well and waterproof things too but for like general clothes I really want to focus on natural materials. So now when I exactly know what I'm looking for another linen pant natural materials I know the cut from my Pinterest boards and my saved Instagram posts I know what I like because I've used the pants like this before and I know that it goes with my colors and my wardrobe in general I decide where to get it and there I think for me at least I have two options I can either get it from a sustainable brand or I can get it secondhand now for the sustainable brands um, of course they always there are so many sustainable brands out there they offer a huge variety of things but all still there are more fast fashion brands so whenever I want to find something it would be easier finding it from a fast fashion brand but since I really only want to buy things from sustainable brands or secondhand I am always kind of on the lookout for these pieces that I'm looking to buy at some point in the future and I save them in my Instagram wishlist because I follow a lot of sustainable brands or I make a screenshot so I just do have a collection of pictures and items that I know are sold by sustainable brands that I might get in the future. And for the linen pants I had and the one that I imagined myself buying in the future, a brand called Not Perfect Linen had the exact pant I wanted to have. So I found like an Instagram account and she wore that pair of pants a few weeks before that and I saved it and I knew that um, this pair of pants is perfect. I would like to have that exact pair of pants. And so on the day where my pair of pants ripped and I had to decide where to get my new pants, I strongly considered buying this not perfect linen pair of pants. But I also know that that is of course a lot more expensive. Now I can link you Not Perfect Linen down below because I think they have amazing pieces and their prices are actually pretty low for a sustainable fashion brand. So this pair of pants was perfect in many ways. But of course it is still a lot more expensive than buying the same pair of pants secondhand. And Not Perfect Linen is based in the EU but it is quite a bit outside of Germany and buying something locally here that is secondhand would still be the more sustainable option. The problem is always that if I have an exact item that I want to have from a sustainable brand that is easy like they have the measurements on the website I can send it back if it doesn't fit. I can ask like customer service if I have certain questions. There are a lot of information on the fabric. I know that the fabric is gonna be toxic free and it's gonna be good for my skin, the quality is gonna be great and it will last a long time. When I buy something secondhand I have none of these informations like it's less expensive and it's more sustainable but I have no idea what ingredients the fabric has. I can ask the people that sell the, um, the clothes if the fabric is sustainable or if it's like natural fibers but if I get the correct answer, I really don't know. I don't have the exact measurements. I cannot know if the quality is really good. So these are kind of the, yeah, the things that are different when I buy secondhand or from a sustainable brand. So I decided to not decide right there, but to just take a look at the secondhand options. So I went to Vinted, which is an online marketplace here in Germany to sell and buy secondhand clothes. And whenever I buy secondhand clothes online I think it's more difficult because you cannot try them on, you cannot feel the fabric but at least you have great filter options to just make sure that you don't have to dig through thousands or even millions of pieces. So what I did is I put linen pants in a search bar and also filtered by color so that I only wanted to see results in beige because that was the color I'm looking for because that was the color I had my pants 
in before and I really like that color. I also searched of course by a size but that is always so difficult because sizing is so different from brand to brand and so I usually just have XSS sometimes even medium depending on like what item I'm looking for and then I just dug through all of the search results and I was surprised that I actually found quite a few items that looked the way I wanted them to look. Now <laughs> buying clothes secondhand when you're concerned about sustainability i think it's so hard if you are looking for like the components of the fabric because nobody lists them so what i do is usually i save everything that looks good in my like favorites collection i don't know if every platform has that available but the secondhand platforms i buy clothes on or other things have that um thing that filter or like that possibility to just save things to um, yeah, go back to and consider buying them. So I save everything that looks good and then I start writing messages to the people that sell the clothes. And usually I would just say, hey, hello, I'm interested in your garment. What does the fabric contain of? Like, what are the ingredients? What material is it made of? And sadly, most of the time, if they have not already put it there and it states that it's not natural fibers, they usually just say, oh, it contains like 50% polyester. And that's a no for me. Like I really want to have garments that have no synthetic fibers if possible. And for a pair of linen pants, that is absolutely possible. Now, of course, the buttons, the seams and things like that usually still contain some plastic, even the dyes can contain plastic, but at least the fabric I want to be sure to have 100% natural fibers. And after some while I actually found a pair of pants and I asked the girl what kind of fabric it was made of and she said it was like half viscose and half linen and I'm good with that. It's a linen mix but it's still like viscose is a semi-synthetic fiber. It's made out of wood pulp or something like this but it uses some very harsh chemicals to make the fabric out of that. So viscose is not a fabric that I would support buying new but buying it secondhand I'm okay with it because it won't pollute the water with microplastics because it's not made out of plastic. So it's a viscose linen mix that pants and I asked, I also asked the girl if she could measure my, the pants out. Like of course a stainless brand would have these numbers on their website and an online secondhand uh, marketplace doesn't. But she was kind enough to measure the pair of pants and so I could make sure that it's very similar like the waist size to the one that I had before. And I went ahead and bought them. They cost 20 euros which is not like very inexpensive but the not perfect linen one would have cost 70 euros which as I said before it's not expensive at all but it's a lot more expensive and so I bought the 20 euro pants. Now another problem with buying secondhand as I just said before you cannot try them on and so even if it's measured out even if you look at them closely if there are several pictures available of the garment itself people wearing it etc you still never know how it's going to fit so when the pants came in I tried them on and I was unsure like I liked part of it and I didn't like other parts of it. They were bigger than my pants I had before. They are kind of see-through on my butt, like depending on what kind of underwear I wear, you can see it if the fabric is like stretched over it. So they're definitely not squat proof, but I don't know if my linen pants need to be squat proof, right? And they were longer. So the other linen pants I had were just, I think they were, to my ankle or above my ankle and that's actually something that I liked and also didn't like at the same time. I liked the look of it but especially during winter it was just too cold or when I wore my um, long underwear underneath it would just look ugly. So on one hand that's great that they are longer and they also I think they also just look a bit less casual and so they are just yeah pros and cons to pose both pair of pants and they also were lighter. Now 
the lighter the fabric, the more stain prone it is. And so that's another thing that I'm kind of afraid of. And that actually illustrates exactly what most of the time like happens whenever I buy something secondhand online. I get it home, I try it on and it's like not exactly how I imagined. And that's okay, like that's fine. And I have to get used to it. And I think that's normal as well. And that isn't a problem if our wardrobes change a little bit from um, garment to garment, if we need to exchange something or if we have something new. Now for my linen pants, of course, they were perfect, the ones I had. So it was quite difficult to find a pair of pants that is as perfect as the other ones. But then after a while of being unsure, I also thought about um, hemming them and making them shorter because I think they are just made for people that are a bit um, higher than me, a bit taller than me, um, I decided to um, take a look at my Pinterest board again. And one thing that I realized is that on my Pinterest board, there were so many people wearing similar pairs of pants. Like they were all oversized and a lot of them rolled up their like legs and I I tried that like I, I did that whenever I tried to pants on for the first time I thought like yeah it looks strange it looks a bit weird it looks almost like a uniform um, pair of pants and I don't I, I don't want to give off that look like a military uniform or something like that and so I was unsure but then I take took a closer look on how they rolled up their legs and I thought like let's give that a try and actually I think I'm pretty happy with that because how the pants look now. I think they are a bit more chic, like they suit a formal event better than the pair of pants I had before, but rolling up the legs, it also makes it possible to make them more casual. They won't get dirty right away if I walk through like wet streets. And so I think I'm happy with them. We'll see how I get used to them being a bit see-through. And I also always have the option to dye them if I'm not happy with the light color and them being see-through, because I think that would really help. But that also really illustrates that I think that you always have to be very honest with yourself. Like if you get a pair of pants or like a garment in general and you realize that it's not perfect from the start, you, I would give it some time, just try it on, see how you feel in it, see how you can style it differently with all the other things you have in your wardrobe, but also allow yourself to just make the decision that it wasn't the perfect thing. And there we have another like advantage of secondhand shopping. Usually it is that much less expensive that it even maybe makes sense to buy two or three pieces um, to get the perfect one. Now, I wouldn't suggest you buy three at a time, but maybe you buy the first one, and if it's not perfect, you can give it another try and still save some money, um, yeah, because it would be more expensive to buy a new fair fashion piece. So that is my complete process of buying something secondhand, something new for my wardrobe. And now I would be really interested if you learn something new, what, how you do it, what your best tips are to find the best things. And of course, I hope that soon it is possible to go to secondhand stores in person again, because that's kind of not possible in Germany. And I really hope that it's going to be possible soon because I love um, looking through garments in person and trying them on, seeing what fits perfectly, because that is actually how I find, found my first linen pants here in a secondhand store in Germany. I hope you liked this video and if you did, consider giving it a thumbs up because that would really help my channel. And if you want to see more videos, I'm going to link you a video and a playlist that you can check out if you want and if you have time to. And I also hope to see you next time. Bye!